What is up, everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are diving into geotech. This is a beautiful theory question. And the question states, disturbed sampling techniques are used to obtain soil properties. Which of the following can be reliably determined from this sampling type? So what's the keyword here? Keyword here is reliably. So we've got strength that they're saying, classification, gradation, compressibility, and moisture content. And the answers here, is it two only, which is classification? Is it one and two only, strength and classification? Is it two, three, and five only, classification, gradation, and moisture content? Or D, all the above? So I think what's important in this is to understand a couple things. This says it's disturbed sampling. So the question you should be looking at is what is um, disturbed versus undisturbed, right? If I can spell. What are the differences there? So if you have a disturbed sample, uh, these are basically methods used to collect soil samples we're gonna just gonna go up there and tear up the dirt, right? In the extraction process. So you're gonna go out there, you're gonna shovel stuff um, from the ground surface or excavation. You could use an auger if you wanted to, uh, to collect a sample. You could use what's called a split spoon sampler, uh, which is used as part of the SPT stat test. And that's a sampler that does disturb the soil while diving into the ground. And uh, you could also do bulk sampling, which is like large quantities of soil from borrow pits or stockpiles. Now, for undisturbed sampling, these are things where when we take the soil sample, it maintains the soil's in situ structure, as it's called, basically how it sits today. And from there, you can tell a lot of things, but it's essential to keep the soil in its natural state as much as possible to help with a, a few items. If we wanted to just dive into the answer on this one, uh, strength is a property that can be real. So if we look at the first one here, obviously. Strength is a property that cannot be reliably determined from disturbed samples because soil strength is highly dependent on the soil's in situ structure. So we need to know that. You know, if we just put a an X on this one, that's no good there. Classification, this one can be determined from disturbed samples as soil classification is based on particle size distribution. And so that's not really affected if we go tear up the soil. So we can do that one. Gradation, so this can be reliably determined from disturbed samples because it just involves checking out the particle size distribution. And that's not affected if we go in there and tear it up. So we're gonna put a check there. Compressibility. So compressibility, that is something that cannot be reliably determined if we have a disturbed sample because compressibility tests like the consolidation test, they require us to have an undisturbed sample so that we can accu accurately measure how the soil is going to be performed under loading. So that one is an X. And then we got moisture content. This can be determined from a disturbed soil sample as it does involve measuring the water content of the soil, which is not dependent on the soil structure. So we've got one, three, and five. I'm sorry, two, three, and five. And so the answer here is gonna be ding, 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 C. These other ones are just meant to throw you off. It's not two only, it's not one and two, because that's a mix of what's right and wrong, and it's not all the above. So highly recommend checking this out. Theory questions pop up all the time on the exams. Make sure you understand the difference between disturbed and undisturbed samples and the properties that you can reliably get from each one of those, okay? All right, that's gonna wrap up this problem. Hopefully that was helpful. If you need more help, check out civilengineeringacademy.com. See ya.